Rosalie Mayam. Today, we will cook the simple dishes that are found in Manipur and also in Japan. First, we will cook Jomi, which is called Yakisoba in Japanese. The next one is Momo, which is called Gyoza in Japanese. We will use the ground pork as the meat. So, let's cook together. First, I will prepare the Momo. This is the pre mixed vegetable for the Momo. Inside here, we have the Chinese cabbage and the spring onion. They already cut it in the small piece. We will mix those things together to make Momo. If you cannot find this one, you have to make it yourself. But it's very easy, so don't worry. Just cut the Chinese cabbage and the spring onion into small pieces, so it's okay. We will put salt, medium or the vinegar, oyster sauce, sesame oil, a little bit only to make it tasty, ground pepper. And then we will mix this together. So here in Japan, Momo also really popular. Here us is have the Momo restaurant and people have to light up for a long line. They wait for a long time to just eat the Momo. Oh my god, that's also light up for that. But he's told that that is really delicious. Now we will roll it. So this one, you can make it yourself with the powder. But to save the time, I bought this already. This is the first time I make the momo, so I don't know that it will be beautiful or not. Here we have 20 pieces, so now let's make it. Oh, let's play something. I will cut the chili and put inside one of the momo. And let's see who is the luckiest one today got the chili momo. I like spicy, but uh, that show doesn't like it. We will put it inside the meat like this, hide it that nobody can know. So he's sighted now. Let's see who is the luckiest one. I thought making the momo is difficult, but it's so easy. Look at this. No sign. Nobody will know it. Let's see. When I was in Manipur, I really liked the momo. So every time I asked that girl bring me to buy the momo to eat. In Manipur, it have the spicy sauce. I really like it. And also have the pork soup. They were so tasty. Oh my god, I still remember that time. So sometimes, Baba bring all the family to go to eat the street food. For the street food, we always eat the momo and chow mein. Oh, I also take video, the street food video. Check it out. I was so surprised that they also have the similar food with Japan. I will finish this soon and we will meet again. I finished preparing Chanti Momo and it has some meat left so I will use it for the soup. Now we will steam the Momo to make sure the meat inside will cook properly. Not to make the Momo stick, I will spray oil in here. I already prepared the steamer so now just put it inside. Not really bad, right? Be careful. Not make the momo stick with each other. I will steam it for 10 minutes. Okay, it's done. I will take it out and put the new one inside. The important thing to make it beautiful like this when we steam is the oil. Just perfect. 
In the meantime, we will fry the momo that we already steamed. I will use this pan to fry it. Put the oil. A little bit only. When it's time to brown, it's done. When you're waiting for the fried momo, I will make the soup now. Half of the carrot, the momo soup, I will not cook it for the long time. So we will slide it into the thin slices. Chinese cabbage, I will use around four leaves only. We will also slide it. Onion. Okay, let's cook now. We will boil the water first. The water is boiling, so I will put the meat first. We will put the chicken stock. Press sesame seed and put it inside. A little sesame oil. Soya sauce. Ginger. And then put all the vegetables. We will cook for some time and we'll put the momo. The vegetable and the meat are cooked, so I will put the momo now. Because the momo already cooked, so we will just cook it for some time and it's done. It's done, so we will put the spring onion inside. Wow, smells so good. Now we will start cooking the chow mein. I will use the cabbage and the Japanese noodle. First, put the oil inside and fry the onion. Cabbage. This looks a lot, but when it's cooked, it will become a little bit oily. The vegetable is cooked, so I will put the noodle now. Inside, we also have the base for three noodles. We have three base. I cook it for some time so it's done now. We will turn it off and we will eat soon. To eat with the momo, I will make some sauce. When the garlic turns to brown, we will put the chili inside. That's it. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Okay. Uh, so this is the sauce. How did you make the sauce? Ah, this sauce is like uh, the saute. Okay. Like uh, I put the garlic and mm. the chili fried with the oil. Okay. Mm. And a little bit salt inside. Mm. It's a little spicy, so. Mm, it is spicy. Not little, a lot. So let's eat now. Okay, that's it. So I will start with the yakisoba. Yakisoba hana hora ge? Yakisoba danayo. Oh, chow min. Okay. Chow min. Mmm. <laughs> This is the same as something that we eat in the street food of Manipur. Mm. This one is the easy one. Mm. Let me try to drink the soup. Mm. Mm. So, Momo. Hawe, <laughs> Mayam Hawe. Mayam Hawe? Yes. Mm. The soup. Mm. It's not that spicy, the soup. Mm. I put some chili. It's not mm. spicy? It's not spicy. Mm. It's really good. The uh, the soup, yeah, it's really good. So I put the sesame seed mm. and the carrot. Okay. And the Chinese cabbage mm. with a little. This is the this is the meat that the left from the momo. Oh. Mm. When I make momo, some meat left, so I make the meat bone to mm. put inside, and then we have the momo. Let me try it. Mm. Mm. How is it? Really good. Mm. The pork mm. is really fresh. fresh. I mean the ground pork. Can mm. I try the momo? Mm. So with this one. Mm. Yeah, the soup is really good. Yes. Mmm. Mm. Nani Korea? <laughs> <laughs> Just the first bite. Oh my god. What? It's, it was so spicy. I thought that like you cook the spicy food. Oh my gosh. How can it come like that? It's just the first bite only. <laughs> Look here. It's the same all. 
So we don't know which one is which one, but look at how lucky he is. <laughs> the first buy of I'm not eating this. Is a, do, I, do I have to eat this one? You have to. Okay. It's, it's... my love, yo. Oh, okay. Karai. Karai. Mm. Mm. So spicy. Mm. 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 So tasty. Spicy? You cannot eat spicy. Wow. So good. I didn't expect that. It's so good. Mm. It's mm. crunchy and it's good, right? The meat inside mm. juicy because mm. we steam it first. Mm. I'll try to put a good crunchy right? Mm. Because we fry it. Mm. And with the mm, saute, spicy. Yeah. The bit you can see it here. Mm. It's juicy. So good. Yeah. So that's all. What mm. do you think about the momo? Uh, is it taste like the restaurant one? No, totally different. What? Yeah. But, but you thought it's tasty it's, it's really tasty mm -hmm. but the meat is more than the <laughs> restaurant double the time so man yeah you yeah. We could, we could sell this one more but but more tasty than the restaurant but, uh. but, but, the, but the meat is double the time so, yeah. i was so surprised yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 so when we eat mm. in the restaurant the meat is just a little bit mm. that's why the homemade food is the best mm. so good yeah how about the saute? What do you think? Saute is a bit spicy. Mm. Yeah, but it's really good. The momo soup, when mm. they put a little ginger, mm. it tastes more fresh. I mm. don't know why. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Because mm. we use a lot of fresh vegetables also. Let's try the momo. Yeah. Mm. 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 Really good. Mm. I'm Okay, let me eat this one. Mm. 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 How is it? Really good. Yeah. Mm. I like the soup more. more, more. <laughs> Which one do you like? I also like the soup. Mm. The fried one, mm. a little oily. Yes, yes. So, but if we eat a little bit, yes, I will like the fried one more. Mm. But to what this is really tasty. Mm. I really like it. But you know, mm -hmm. in Manipur, mm -hmm. this is a snack. Mm? This is a snack. People don't eat it as a kind of a meal. Mm? So when they go to the street food, mm. so people usually it's kind of a snack, you know, like when they hang out with friends mm. or something like that. They come back and eat the meal again with the family. Um. So noodle is not a staple food of, you mm. know, Manipur. They eat the rice. Mm. Yeah. So sometimes when I started eating uh, noodles mm. in Japan, mm. I feel so hungry in the <laughs> night again. So I have to eat the rice. But now I'm okay. Mm. So I change my uh, this one like yeah. the right. So when I come to Manipur, yeah, people, like um, Manipuri people eat a lot of rice. Yes, every meal. Mm. But <coughs> the breakfast, mm. I don't see they eat. Mm. Breakfast, we don't eat the rice here in Japan. They eat the rice, right? Mm. Onigiri, mm. the rice bowl. They the Japanese eat the. In Vietnam, I also eat rice in the morning. We don't eat the rice in the morning. Mm. We eat, you know, paratha or roti, you know, ah. for the bread. So we have a lot of choice for the breakfast, mm. like bread or mm. the sticky rice. We call it soy, mm. like sweet one. Pho, mm. noodle. We have a lot of choice for breakfast in Vietnam. So I don't know, but mm. in my parents' time or in the old days. Mm they eat the remaining food from mm. the night mm, before mm, 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 mm. so sometimes you know they cook more you know so mm. in the morning so mm. they eat that one you know so it's a kind of a we call it charawan ba. <laughs> charawan ba. Yeah, charawan ba. Mm. in the morning so now but you know because of the food you know mm. globalization and all those things mm. many of the outside food also come mm. 
so people started eating different different types of food in, and breakfast yeah. mm. interesting so when I was a small kid mm. we also eat the lab food mm. for the from the day before mm. for the breakfast for the breakfast mm. but my mom always tried to make the food in the morning for Fresh us Fresh one, yeah, yeah, yeah mm. And she, she will eat the black food Wow mm. So cute Yeah mm. So when we, uh, before we go to school mm. We will eat breakfast at home first mm. My mom will try to make it mm -hmm. In the early morning mm. That uh, we don't have to eat outside mm. Mm. Same, same mm. Mm, it's so good. Yeah. So that's all. Mm. For you, do you want to eat at home or go out to eat? At home is better, I think. But once in a while, mm. we can eat outside. Mm. Like there. Yakiniku, like the barbecue or something, mm. we cannot do at home, right? We can. We can, but I mean, like all the different types of meat, you know, mm -hmm. we don't have right. But it's mm -hmm. and it's cheaper in the yeah. restaurant. Also. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have to buy all those ones. So, but if we have a lot of friends together and something like that, we mm. can make the barbecue or something. We can like. hang out. Mm. Yeah, I also think so. Mm. Sometimes take a rest and eat out is mm. like the sushi. You know, making sushi, we cannot do it at home, right? Who say it? I will make for you. We have to buy a lot of the um, fish, right? Yeah, the different fish. the different type of fish, mm -hmm. and then you have to make rice differently and all those. So it takes a lot of time and effort, right? I will make for you. Okay, let's see. Okay, nothing impossible. So this is the first time, and it's so successful. So I decided when I come back to Manipur, I will make for our family over there. Good, good. They will be and, happy to try it. And also my family in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Mm. Good, no? Good, good. Almost done. Mm. So fast, no? You are also almost done, no? Yeah. Mm. For the dessert today, we bought the black basimum. So people say that the black basimum tastes like the chocolate. So yes, let's yes. cut and see what so, is inside. So they call it the chocolate basimum, right? Mm -hmm. They mm. call it the chocolate basimum. So let me cut and see. Even we live here for a long time, but we have not eaten this one. Yeah. This is the first time. Yeah, so this black persimmon or the chocolate persimmon mm -hmm. is more expensive, you mm -hmm. know, than the normal persimmon. Yeah. yeah so, so maybe yeah. double price. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, oh, so black. Yeah, look, so it's look, black inside. It looks like the chocolate yeah. color. They say it tastes like or looks like, I don't know. We have to know it when we taste it, right? It also have another kind of basimum. Mm. Look like this color, mm. but they didn't call it the chocolate basimum. Mm -hmm. Just this one. So I think this one tastes like a chocolate. Honto? Really? Let's see, let's see. <laughs> this is also the first time I try it, so I don't know. Mm. Okay, so mm. it look like this. Now let's taste it. Mm. Please try. Okay, thank you. It does not have any smell, but let me see. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. Very sweet mm -hmm. compared to the normal mm -hmm. one. But doesn't have much taste to the chocolate bottle. Try, try it. Wow, mm. it's so tasty. Yeah. I just remember. Mm. Like uh, this one, the brown brown one. Mm -hmm. When we hold it, mm -hmm. it will stick inside. Mm -hmm. uh, it will stick to our mm -hmm. hand. Mm -hmm. It looks like the chocolate. Mm -hmm. I I think I read something like that. Yeah. So that's why they call it the chocolate uh -huh. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. So juicy. Mm. Mm. Thank you. So good. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So the mission Momo and Songwin has been successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So thank you for cooking. It was really good. Mm -hmm.
Kakak Chari. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting us all the time. Please keep on supporting us. 